Hey guys, welcome back to Coastal Scooters. I'm Coastal Smith, and in today's video, we're gonna be giving you the top cleanup crew for your saltwater reef tank. So um, we're here at Top Shelf Aquatics. I'm gonna show you guys some of the inverts that are here and which ones I think are personally the best for your tank. Yeah, let's get into the video. All right, let's check out Top Shelf Aquatics before we get into the video. We're just gonna show you some of the tanks here. I gotta show you something cool here. Let me grab some silver sides and I'll be right back. All right, go ahead and breathe. Oh my gosh. Feed the more I eel. Okay, here he comes. Just takes it straight from your hand. It's actually pretty gentle. Surprising. He might not be as hungry as normal. He usually, like, rips it out of my hand. Sierra did just tell me that we have a shark that is ready to hatch. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end and we'll show you the shark hatch. Okay, now we're gonna get into the inverts. Um, I'd say the number one invert I would have in every reef tank would be a trochus snail. Um, I picked the trochus over the astrea snails because the astreas will not flip themselves back over. The trochus will. So why are they are more money? I would say it's worth um, the money to spend on the trochus versus the astrea. Uh, just because they can flip themselves back over. If you buy them, they're just gonna end up dying um, eventually uh, just because they can't flip themselves back over. The trochus are really good for cleaning the rock um, and mainly the glass. So the reason I keep them is for the glass. Also, in my tank at home, they do actually breed a lot too. Next on the list is going to be a type of hermit crab. Um, I would say go with either blue leg hermits or scarlet hermits. Personally, I like the scarlets just because they're bigger um, and they're a lot more pretty. I would say pick blue or scarlet over the reds just because the reds get bigger. Red legs typically, um, they get bigger and they'll actually eat each other and other hermit crabs or other snails for the shell. So that's why I usually go with the blue legs or the scarlets because they do it less. They still do it, but they'll do it less. Uh, these hermit crabs are really good for taking care of any like leftover food in the tank or any um, algae on the rock. So now that we've mainly taken care of the uh, rock and the glass, um, the next is your sand. So if you have any algae in your sand, I always recommend going with tiger sand conch. Tiger sand conchs are usually a great option for your sand. Um, they not only do they eat the stuff in the sand, they'll actually stir it up as well. So if you have like cyano, they'll actually stir that up. Now if you have bubble algae, the best option for bubble algae, I would say is emerald crabs. Emerald crabs will be a really good job bubble algae. They love taking care of that bubble algae. Um, they'll just graze on the rock. And when they don't have any bubble algae, they'll also eat like any leftover food in the tank um, or any 
really like green algae, kind of like that lettuce stuff. When it comes to emerald crabs, I like to pick the females versus the males because the males tend to get a lot bigger and they have the big claws and they'll actually sometimes go for your fish. Um, so the way you tell the difference between the male and female is the female will have this flat, uh, bigger space on their belly for, to the carry the eggs and the male will actually have like this thinner spot with a thing that goes down the center of their like chest. Um, so that's how you tell the difference. Now if you have hair algae, a really good option would be an urchin or maybe a lettuce dudebronch. The reason uh, I say lettuce dudebronch over an urchin is the urchins actually like to pick things up on their back. So if you have any loose frags in the tank or any other inverts, they'll just pick them up, put them on their back and move them around your tank, which can be a little annoying. Whereas the lettuce nudibranchs, they don't do that and they'll pretty much eat any green algae that exists. These are the lettuce nudibranchs. Um, as you can see, they're munching down on this green algae here. Um, and then these are the uh, pincush urchin, which would be the, my favorite urchin that I would go with. I'd say my essential three inverts that I would go with any reef tank would be the tiger sand conchs, uh, the trochus snails, and then one of the hermit crabs, like maybe the scarlet hermit or the blue egg hermits. Those would be my top three uh, inverts that I would pick for my reef tank. Um, but some other inverts, so like specific algae, would be those other inverts I mentioned, like the pincush urchin, the lettuce dunibronch, or the emerald crabs. They'll take care of that specific algae you have. Um, another really good invert um, for taking care of any like leftover food that's in the tank um, or if a fish happens to die, they'll completely destroy the carcass and leaving you with less ammonia than you have if you just let it rot in your tank. It would be the Nisaria snail. These snails are like zombies. They'll just come straight out of the ground as soon as they smell any rotting food um, or any uh, you know decaying body or anything like that. You can see they have these little like uh, snorkels is how I would uh, how I would say it, um, sticking out of the sand like that. There's a ton of them in here, so they're kind of hard for them to be all in the sand. Um, but I'll throw some food in here and you can see them all merge out of the sand. Another good option for the sand um, would be a sand sifting starfish like this guy right here. Um, so if you don't like the conchs, or you can do both, you can have conchs and sand sifting stars. Um, they both do a really good job cleaning up the sand. I personally go with conchs, um, but my dad has conchs and sifting stars. Now a good invert you can put in the tank to kind of like clean up the fish from any parasites. Um, they don't do it too often, but they'll, they will clean your fish and they also um, will eat any leftover food that's in the tank. And that would be a cleaner shrimp. This is the cleaner shrimp here. You can see it kind of just like hangs up upside down on the rock. Um, some of them don't do that, they just kind of sit on the wall like that. But they provide a really bright pop of color in the tank with that red and white striping through them. Another option could be the uh, blood shrimp. They'll do the same thing as the cleaner shrimp. I just noticed that they clean the, your shrimp less often than the cleaner shrimp do. Um, but yeah, they both do a really good job. Now all these inserts that I mentioned um, are super easy to take care of as long as you have the right algae and food in the tank for them. It's what I think is personally best for your reef tank, um, what I personally use at home. Um, everybody's different, they'll use different inverts, but it's just personally what I would put in my tank. If you think of any options that are better, be sure to let me know down in the comments and uh, list what you think you are the best inverts. Now when just starting your tank, you do wanna make sure you're not just shoving all these inverts in there and then they end up dying. Um, so do add them as algae continues to grow. Um, add like a few and then if you need to, add some more later. Okay, here is the shark egg that is ready to hatch. Um, Tierra, what are we doing? So, just to kind of help them out a little bit, we cut the bottom here, um, just to give them a little leverage on open. And then basically their heads are already at that point, so they'll just swim them out. Alrighty, let's cut open this shark egg. There he is, oh my gosh. He's so cool. Hey, he's big. What? So now she's gonna tell us whether or not this is a male or a female. You wanna explain um, so, how to tell? these little guys have little pectoral flippers, not freak them out, but 
you don't want to participate, that's okay. So basically these little flippers down here will have extensions at the bottoms like this if they're a boy. And if they're a girl, they'll have basically nothing. It'll just be these two flippers. Um, he did have the two little ones, so it's a boy. So this is a boy. It's a boy. Go in his little uh, new tank for temporary until we sell it. There he goes. We got three more eggs we gotta wait on to hatch those as well. But yeah, here's our new boy shark. Alrighty, guys, with that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new here, and yeah, till next time. Peace.